Creators, what's going on? Today I'm going to be answering one of the most common questions I've been asked a lot lately, and that is Willie. I'm a YouTube content creator and I want my videos to sound better. I'm looking at starting a podcast on a budget, but I need pristine audio. I'm a gamer and my audio sucks. So what microphone do you recommend? Well, let me reintroduce you to the legendary Blue Yeti Pro microphone. Whoa, this thing is extremely heavy. We have the actual microphone, uh, pretty solid. And then we have the USB cable that comes with it. We have some instructions here. I love the packaging. I mean, it's well protected. Let's look at this thing. I mean, look at this beast. My gosh, this thing is heavy. It's pretty solid and it's like, oh, look at that. Huh? We have the mute button right here. Then we have the volume, main volume right here. Really nice. It's got a good feel to it. Okay, perfect. And we got the USB cable that comes with it. This I think is just for protection. It goes like that to hold the mic in place. Boom. And then down here you have this really nice, uh, matte finish as you can see it's pretty solid pretty good i mean it's all metal as you can hear this is all metal so now that we got that out of the way a little unboxing there for you guys can't complain and say i did not give you an unboxing this is pretty pretty nice back in my early days as a sound engineer starting out the first microphone i ever bought was a blue yeti and I think I remember it was the sky blue version of it. One, because that was the only professional microphone I could afford at the time. I believe I paid between 120 and 140. And second, because of all of the great features this mic had to offer for the price. Nothing in the market at the time could top that. This was my go-to microphone for years, even after having access to more expensive microphones like the Newman TLM 102, the U87 AI, and the AKG c12 vr which are some of the industry standard mics so yeah i feel darn comfortable recommending it to you guys i know you are excited so let's start with the build quality this is the blue yeti usb microphone the blackout edition and it goes for around a hundred bucks which is way less than what i paid for it a while back this thing is built like a tank it's made out of all metal with nice, good quality knobs and switches. And it has a sleek matte black finish, which makes it look and feel even more professional. It has its own adjustable desktop stand, conveniently rotatable for perfect microphone positioning on your desk. It also has standard threading at the bottom for a mic boom setup, if you like. Which brings me to all the cool functions this microphone has to offer. Compared to your average condenser microphone, the Yeti has to offer all the different functions to make it stand out. What makes it really nice is the fact that it's a USB interface plug and play mic. So the second you plug it into your computer, it will get picked up regardless of whether it's on a Mac or PC, you're good to go. There are three different microphones underneath this cover that can record just about any situation. On the back of the mic, you have the pickup pattern switch that will allow you to change between cardioid, omnidirectional, bidirectional, and stereo pickup patterns. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are all these different patterns you're talking about? What, what, what are we talking about here? Uh -uh. Clear it up, clear it up. Let me elaborate. Cardioid mode captures sound sources that are directly in front of the microphone. Perfect for podcasting, game streaming, and YouTube video production. Eh, I can't beat that. Omnidirectional mode picks up sound all around the microphone. Great for conference calls, if you're into that kind of stuff. It's also great for capturing ambient sound. Birds and little tweaks. Taps, things like that. Hello, 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 hello. <coughs> mommy, mommy. I think, I think it's working. Look at that. Great. 
perfect. Look at the, look at now, that. if we go to bi-directional, bi-directional mode picks up sound from the front and the rear of the microphone, but not from the side, which makes it perfect for a two-person podcast or interview mode type video. Let's do this. <laughs> Hello, 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 and I'm talking perfectly great right here. You see those nice, uh, plumpy uh, waves? Yeah, that's my voice come from here. Hello, hello, hello. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at that from the side. Hello, 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 hello. You see not much is being picked up from the side as you can see in the waves. And hello, hello, hello. Nothing here. You hear my voice, but really low. Hello, 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 hello. There you go. Now, if we switch this over to stereo mode, which is the last one over here. Stereo mode, on the other hand, picks up sound from left to right in front of the microphone. Great for recording music or a three-person podcast. So, you can see how this microphone can be more versatile than your average mic. And we haven't even touched on the insane quality that comes out of this tube which we'll talk about in a second. As you can see here, right above the pattern switch, we have the microphone gain knob, which controls the sensitivity of the mic capsules and also gives you easy access to adjusting your input levels. Around the front, you have a physical mute button if you wanna mute yourself. You'll know the mute is active if the light is flashing and if the light is solid red, that means that you are live and recording audio. I think that's pretty handy, especially for streamers during those times midstream when your mother yells out your name, followed by George, get off your ass and do something with your life, boy. I don't know why, but it's always a George or a Michael or John, but it's perfect for those situations. Right below the mute switch, we also have a headphone volume knob to control the sound in your headphone. And no, not the one plugged into your stereo, the ones connected to your microphone headphone jack, right in the bottom. Yes, if you look at the bottom of your Yeti, it has a headphone jack, which gives you latency-free monitoring of your voice in real time mixed with the audio from your computer, which is pretty darn good. Talking about computers, why don't we dive in on how to set up your Blue Yeti. You can be up and running in no time if you couple your Yeti Pro with a free piece of software like Audacity to get amazing quality audio. But since I'm a lazy bum and I don't want the additional hassle of synchronizing my audio with my footage and post, I'll show you how to connect your Blue Yeti Pro directly to your DSLR to help you streamline your post-production process. First, you're going to need a 3.5 millimeter TRS to 3.5 millimeter TRS cable, one that's long enough to reach from your Blue Yeti microphone to your DSLR camera. Then you want to plug in your USB cable into the bottom of your mic and the other end into your computer. Now, to set it up on your computer, in my case, I'm using a Mac, but I'm sure it's a similar process for a PC. You're gonna wanna go to System Preferences, go to Sound, then here you can see you wanna select Input. Then here you wanna select your Yeti stereo microphone, USB, right here. Now, as you can see, I'm talking into the mic and you see the signals right here. This is your input levels. Now you want to make sure that this does not exceed, you know, I don't know, a, a quarter or a third, you know, at least half. You don't want it to be peaking all the way up here. Okay, so in order to do that, you wanna make sure that your volume on the mic is as low as it possibly can be. Right now, I'm bringing it up, as you can see. One, two, you see how it's going all the way up? And then I'm bringing it down, right there. So you want it to be about so, or as long as it doesn't go past this half point. If right we here. do, that means we are clipping our audio, which is very difficult to fix later on during editing. Hey, genius, what if we bypass the computer thing and plug straight to the camera? What, 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 what are we doing here? Huh? Huh? What are we doing here? Well, when you are recording, you do need to have the microphone powered by the computer. You can't plug it into an outlet because it won't work. There are drivers on the computer that allows the microphone to run. Now that you have got your computer set up, let's talk about setting up 
your camera. Connect one end of your 3.5 millimeter cable into the bottom of your mic and the other end into your DSLR. To access the sound recording settings in your camera, first switch from automatic to P or manual mode to have more control over your settings. Then click on the menu button to find sound recording. You're going to change sound recording from automatic to manual. This is gonna let us make some changes within the sound menu. You're going to want your recording levels to be one decibel over zero dB for safety measures. We don't want any internal camera decision making to cause our audio to be distorted. We always want to ensure that your levels never go above 12 dB to avoid clipping. Once you have made these in cameras adjustments, you're good to go. So guys, we are no longer using the Rodelink microphone, which is a lav mic, as you can see, it's still on my chest here with blue tape right here as you can see there's no sound coming off of that and that's because it's completely disconnected from my uh dslr camera there this is the transmitter and the receiver uh right now the sound you're getting is coming directly from the blue yeti uh microphone here and i'm talking directly from the side not the top Keep that in mind. Right now, you're listening to the audio quality of the Blue Yeti Pro. I'm talking to you using the cardioid pattern, which is the most suitable for when you have a single source of sound. In this case, me. <laughs> as great as this microphone sounds, you still need to know how to handle it. One common mistake I see some YouTubers making is that they talk into the top of the microphone, which is not best practice if you want to get the most out of your Yeti. All you need to know is that your Blue Yeti is a side address microphone and you need to speak into or address it from the side and not the top. When you talk into the side, that's where you will sound your clearest and best. Something else I want to point out, don't position your Yeti off the side or beside your computer monitor away from you. Like any other condenser microphone, if you have it at the wrong distance from your mouth, it will pick up both you and the background noise. Your mouth should be 4 to 10 inches from the Yeti for best results. The closer you are to the Yeti, the lower you can turn the mic gain, making any background noise appear quieter and your voice sound richer. One of the cons of this microphone is that it does not have any shock mount capsule built into it. So to isolate your microphone from noise, shock, vibration from floor topping, putting down your drink. Guys, Michael, this is, this is the soap dispenser, buddy. Soap dispenser? Or even roll in your chair. Yes, it will absolutely pick up everything. I highly recommend getting the Blue Yeti shock mount for it and put it in on a desk boom arm. This will save you lots of headaches. You can purchase the shock mount for about 20 bucks or both the shock mount and the boom arm as a bundle for under 50. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. And there you have it, the Blue Yeti Pro microphone blackout edition. So you creators have been nothing but supportive, fantastic, and super, super patient with me. I admit, I haven't been as consistent as I should be with putting out more weekly content. But in my defense, it is extremely, and I mean extremely, with capital E's, extremely, extremely tough to do what we do on this platform and still keep a nine to five. Guys, that's why I need you to hit them thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and leave a comment. Willie, we love you. You are great. Motivate the hell out of me, okay? Because I'm telling you, it's extremely tough. It supports me, it supports this channel, and it keeps me going. That being said, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and got some real value out of it. Mwah! Love you guys, and a special thanks goes out to each and every single one of you who has given your time and subscribed to this channel. Until the next time, catch you guys on the flip side.